Hi there, welcome to this brief video analysis of a particular disturbed individual present out there as people like to refer to on the YouTube streets and that's regarding Kathy and Axel. No, not so much Axel because that's supposedly a cat, not a human, a cat, an animal, okay? Just in case some people out there didn't quite know. It's Kathy. A ginger-haired female that seems to have a few disturbed thoughts at times and always jumping at the deep end of the water. I just want to present to you a brief summary of what's happened over time and what's recently been said, okay? I'm aware there's quite a few people out there already who are aware and alert that they do acknowledge that Kathy is a bit erratic and not quite there. The lights are on, but nobody is home at times. But I just wanna look at it in general, right? I'm aware that there'll be people out there who aren't aware of her. You know, if it's new people coming to my channel, new viewers from my short videos, my standard videos, I just wanna explain it to get the story clearer, okay, just so it reduces confusion, okay? That's what I'm all about, reducing it and making it more efficient and understandable for new people coming on in. And you know, for regular people, because there'll be regular people on my channel who have no clue who this ginger-haired person is out there. But I just want to present it to you today. You might have a better understanding. And be sure to leave comments down below as well as um, any grievances or questions, okay? So when it comes to Kathy, where does she originate from? Well, from the looks of it, either Bob Farrell's channel and slash or Jim Terry, Mr. X community, okay? We've seen people's behavior from that group, certain personality traits, levels of whingy whininess, making false claims at times, not always being accurate enough and making a prat of themselves. It's happened. There have been some other people that have been okay that have come from there or still originate over that way and have popped on in. But Kathy and Axel, her YouTube username, all public information, a public channel, publicly on YouTube, which is a public platform, there you go, has been a bit problematic with time. Now, where did it all originate from? Well, the beginning was probably months ago now, months ago, I was basically covering the Dylan Rounds case because for over a year now, I've been covering a missing person true crime case about Dylan Rounds. At the time, a 19-year-old farmer that went missing in 2022, the 28th of May, and was reported missing on the 30th of May 2022 when family got concerned and worried as to what happened to him. So I've been focusing and covering some serious topics but in between, other people out there who may originate from the community don't actually cover the case themselves nor contribute to it at all. What they do contribute at times, though, is whingy, whiny behaviour and levels of disruption and unnecessary actions, slander and false claims made. It's very silly. It's very unnecessary. This is from a fully grown adult out there saying all that stuff, but, you know... I, I, I think the cat might be more mature than Kathy ever will be, but that's a different story, that. So, when I was covering the Dylan Rounds case, I was looking at it from different angles, viewpoints and perspectives, and at times I would look at other channels out there, the comments or the community post, because the comments or post were related to the Dylan Rounds case. So I was just simply looking at it from their point of view, on the spot, giving my own thoughts and responses to it, as well as analysing, just like what I've done any other time with any other case or topic out there. It's very normal to do. As for the comments on other people's channels and the community posts out there, it's all public because it's on a public platform, YouTube, and the actual messages displayed are public, okay? We're not talking about a channel which has paid membership, a paywall, secretive videos in the background where you got to pay to access and then you can look at the comments. No, it's not even to that extent. We're not talking about private videos or, or unlisted ones. It's all public, okay? So 
on one of the occasions, or more so the very first time, where I looked at Bob Farrell's community page and the comment section, Kathy and Axel was present, and I was just basically reading out every single comment on screen, even if some weren't relevant to what we're talking about at the time. And I saw Kathy's comment talking about their cat or their daddy, and I'm thinking, what? How they were saying about their daddy, a human, owns that cat or something. It was very all over the place, okay? And I just basically read it out at the time, thought nothing of it, just thought, hmm, whatever. But then fast forward on, because I wasn't aware, because I was doing my own thing, there was slander emerging in the background by Kathy and Axel, who somehow found out that I did a video where, on a case, and I included their comments within that video, they got triggered by it. Now, how did they find out? Well, I'm sure one of their followers, bitch boy posse gangs, or maybe a spy informant, or just a friend of a friend just passed it on, right, out of interest to them. I said it was all public, but Kathy and Axel got very triggered. Well, Kathy did, okay? And then over the course of time, ever since from back then till now, has been leaving comments on Bob Farrell's channel in the live chat box, as well as most recently in an actual live call-in, verbally calling Warlike Raff out. <clears throat> now, exactly what, in what way, is one being called out? More so, labelled as some kind of creepy individual associated with cats or something? Now, I'm not going to use the key terms or words, because as you know, YouTube, you know what they're like with certain words. But you use it to your imagination as to what Kathy and Axel, or more so Kathy, was labelling me as for reading their comments out, which was all of public viewing. Yeah, seems very unnecessary and odd. Now, the claims what they were referring about publicly would be considered slander, and I guess you want to push it further, defamation, right? I've already been slandered over time by petty, obsessed individuals who don't like my coverage on cases because I might be getting too close to the truth, or I touch a nerve with a hypocrite or, you know, two-faced person out there in some way or another. I end up revealing their true identities, their true self, eventually, and then people see them for what they are. But Kathy, Kathy very triggered early on by a simple action of looking at a public comment, right? Uh, they then ended up pushing it, besides the insults and the slanderous claims and insults, etc., that ended up saying that Warlike Wrath, she claiming that one doxed her. How? How so? How? That Kathy was saying that her own cat, Axel, was doxed online for the whole world to see. Take in mind that the cat can't talk, okay? Because it's not human. But when it comes to Axel, who appears in Kathy's profile picture, a picture which is on a public account, on a public platform, all publicly viewable with the username as well. That does not mean doxing. See, this is the thing. When it comes to a lot of humans within the Dylan Rounds case and community over time, because that's where it all stemmed from, let's be realistic, it branches out into the true crime community as a whole. A lot of people out there really enjoy overusing the key buzzword dox or doxing. I'd say it could be the most used word within that community topic of 2023. A key buzzword which at times has lost its true meaning because of idiots and prats out there that are just throwing it about willy-nilly, okay? And Kathy is a good example of that. So, really, she's triggered because I publicly analysed a public comment by her that she's got triggered that her cat was brought up in the conversation when her actual comment was publicly talking about her own cat and the cat having a human daddy out there. Yeah. Mm. 
And I think most recently, Kathy got further frustrated and that fiery ginger within, <clears throat> I mean, attitude, I don't know, has been sparked off once again because of a, a response by one saying, was Kathy or Axel some kind of furry dressed up? But once again, it's a valid observation to make because if there is a human out there like Kathy that regards her cat as almost as if it's her child or some kind of human, well, is it really a person dressed up in a costume then? Now, I think realistically speaking, it's a cat, an actual cat and nothing more, just a cat. I'm aware of that. But in her fantasy, in her mindset, I think perception is slightly skewered from reality. I think mentally she is disconnected from this world, or at least the digital online platform of human interaction, connection, understanding, you know, thought process is severely lacking. So what else was said recently? So they were referring back to where Supposedly, one called Kathy out for doxing one's full name, even though it was publicly viewable via PayPal. Well, it was never worded that way. Hmm. So, to put things into perspective once again, hopefully you can listen and understand to this. The situation what we have here is kind of like a Matt Lingo situation where I was basically using a comparison to say, well, if people react this way to that person, then they should be treating this person the same exact way for the positive reasons or the negative reasons, because these two individuals share similar characteristics and personality traits. So why are other audience members treating one another differently? Matt Lingo did not understand at the time, failed to comprehend it and got triggered by it, which is most unfortunate. But, you know, what more can one do, right? You can only tell somebody once or twice, they have to work it out for themselves, okay? That's it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So to link back to the current comparison, basically, I was referring back and quoting to the time where Kathy falsely labelled and accused one as for doxing her name or her cat, her persona online or supposedly in real life. And I was just basically using some key terminology and wording to demonstrate the idiocracy of what's going on with their idiosyncratic bombastic behaviour of impetuism and egocentrism, okay? Basically, in simpler terms, for those that don't quite understand, is, well, if they're going to make false claims, if they're going to make false claims saying that one ended up doxing their stuff, even though it was all publicly viewable on YouTube and there was not much to begin with, then it's almost as silly as if I was to say that Kathy doxed my full name, even though my name is publicly viewable, such as with the PayPal, PayPal thing in the background. You know, if you're going to call that doxing, which is, you know, silly to begin with, then you might as well call this doxing as well. So I'll just use an, an example to prove that point. So when Kathy responded back to that claim recently, she was like, what? That doesn't even make any sense. It's public. My name. <laughs> Tyler, thank you. Hallelujah. Exactly. It's public, Kathy. So it's not doxing, right? Kathy would respond back. Oh, why are you saying it then? Because you and your original claim was just as preposterous, silly, unnecessary, invalid. Okay? As simple as that. They're using the key term dox when it doesn't apply at all and there is no proof of it. And whatever was shown, displayed or talked about is all a public viewing on YouTube. It's a public platform with public channels, public comments, public profile picture, public username, the lot. End of. But from a psychological aspect, when it comes to Kathy, I don't know about Axel. Interesting name for a cat, to be honest. 
But as for Kathy, I would say one, well not one, I would say that they could be considered mentally disturbed within some way or another, whether it be a recent or ongoing event in their own personal life which alters their behaviour online, that they take it out on the wrong people, or that they once experienced some kind of negative encounter in the past, maybe with humans, because it has been known that over time when humans may get too hurt, screwed over or whatever else unnecessary and not so pleasant done to them by other humans out there, that they may back off and disconnect from humans, adopt or just bring in a cat or dog and then just basically stick with them. You know, put all the attention, the care, the love in that cat, that dog, that pet, that animal, that turtle, that spider, that lizard, that toad, whatever. Becoming disconnected from reality with humans and more focused in a fantasized, unnecessary, over-the-top way with an animal that they become too protective of it. So when any human gets too close or even breathes near to that animal, then that person snaps like that. And I think that's what's happened with Kathy. Something has happened over time for them to react the way they do nowadays. They're lacking reasoning ability. Their thought pattern and process is discombobulated and all over the place, which is most unfortunate, okay? So am I in a position for me to fix them? Do they need deliverance? I don't know. I don't think it's my position or role to be fixing that individual out there when I do have more pressing matters at hand, which is actually covering missing people cases and keeping those stories and information alive, okay? But I just wanted this video to inform people and newer people out there that if you do come across Kathy and Axel, their username on YouTube, just be wary that they can be a bit snappy at times. And as for hearing them verbally, vocally, they seemed a bit disorientated in thoughts and speech pattern. Maybe they were drunk at the time and, you know, if they're drunk at the time, they could be speaking their own truth, which don't mean to say that's the truth of reality, but you hear them for what they are and what they've got to say and what's truly on their mind. And to be honest, there's a blubbering mess, okay? It was like a Kurt Wadsworth situation, very disappointing, but I guess there you go, typical. So yeah, somewhat mentally disturbed, a little bit, well, not a little, quite erratic and just lacking thought patterns, process, understanding perception of this world and the humans around, whether it be in real life or digitally speaking as we are here, okay? So hopefully you understood everything. Feel free to replay the video back once again if you need to. I just wanted to explain the backstory to how things unfolded and why they have some kind of grudge obsession about me. Because as we know, there are a lot of obsessions over time when it comes to my channel. And it's always nice to be able to identify who is who and what they're all about. At the end of the day, it is a stamina war and some are lacking it. So I will see you later because we do have an actual live premiere coming out tonight on the Dylan Rounds case. Hopefully you can make it. It's going to be an interesting one. Little bits about Lance, parts about Candice Cooley associating with Brenner or not, what's going on there, and some of the things in the background as well as catching up on comments. It's a mixture of things, and I've, I'm sure you'll find somewhat interesting. So feel free to join along, live premiere tonight at 9.15pm UK time, okay? Thanks for watching this video, I'll see you later.